What is going on everybody? We are back at your boy Samir and today continue on with our let's play for Brilliant Diamond and we are here at Ramnus Park the old or the new sorry the new Pell Park that used to exist where you used to transfer Pokemon from the older generations into the Sinnoh region. Now very similar because we don't have to trade anything you we're just jumping straight into it. You get legendaries, get other Pokemon from the regions. I'm so keen. Oh uh, Simo, this is it. This is Ramnus Park. This place has a special connection with regions around the world such as Kanto and Hoenn. It's also connected to the Grand Underground. Exploring down there might reveal new treasures. New discoveries lead to interesting encounters. Remember that. Good to know. It's good to see you've come to join us for a visit. Let us make a gift of this chain counter for your Poketch. A chain counter? Is that like for the same Pokemon? It, it tallies it up? You installed the app in your Poketch. The chain counter app tracks Poke radar performance. I plan to be in Eterna City for some time. Being here, I should make the best of my time studying the Pokemon of the Sinnoh region. Okay. Later, Zoke. Thanks for the update. You can exchange mysterious shards. <gasps> Discovery slate. I don't have any. Okay. So, never mind. We just need to go find some cool stuff underground, I think. May I help you? <gasps> Huge. I actually do need some Ultra Balls. Um, that's actually pretty handy. Not gonna lie, I was, I was worried that I'd have to fly all the way back. We're just gonna buy a bunch of Ultra Balls. Because why not? Just buy 57, spend all my money. Because what, what else are we gonna buy? That's the whole point of this. Five Premier Balls on the house, beautiful. Talk to all these people, of course. Scary skintil Skintillating? Damn. Pokemon I've never seen, would you show me if you have one? Let me see. I like to see Pokemon that does nothing but eat and sleep. Munchlax or Snorlax? Oh, I got Munchlax. Do you mean Snorlax? Came all the way out here to see rare Pokemon. This place is a weird atmosphere. I feel like I could lose my sense of time and space. Ah, that's a warning. That's a warning for all you trainers out there. It's a quiet paradise that draws you closer to Pokemon that come from faraway lands. I especially look forward to seeing Pokemon from Kanto and Holm, but it tugs at my heartstrings to know they're so far away from home. What about all the Johto Pokemon? What? Ramnus Roses. It doesn't go by without her demanding we come see them. Oh, now, there you go. I came here with my dad to look at the flowers. I'll take pictures of Pokemon while I'm at it. Beautiful Pokemon snap out here. The smell of Ramnus Roses isn't the only selling point here. The people and Pokemon drawn from all over are spectacles in of themselves. And those intriguing enigmatic caves fill me with excitement. I'm so keen. I'm filled with excitement as well, youngster Joey. Let's go in. I'm keen. We also quickly um, finished EV training our Weavile. So Weavile's actually on the team now. But um, I must have caught a Pokemon or... Killed one too many of one something else because the stats didn't actually max out completely. So speed is maxed out, which is perfect. But the attack is just shy. And I can't change any more EVs, so I must have added to something else accidentally. So I'm not too sure what I've done. So I'll have to get some berries from the battle park, lower the other stats, make sure I haven't got any, and then put the last few in attack. But pretty much maxed out. So our Weavile is quite strong. This music is cool! We're at Ravenous Park, baby! The flowers are pretty. Wait, I don't even know. Is it just caves? Is it just a bunch of caves? How long does this go for? I'm so intrigued right now. I'm so... Oh. I'm loving it already. Just a big old map. That was pointless. This is cool. What caves do you want to go in first? <gasps> Different areas. Ooh. I'm, I'm so excited. I should get a map or something of this. This is so cool. Little beach. Yeah, I, I, I feel like we should... There's a water cave there as well. I feel like we need to go to the first cave. I feel like we've got to go to the very first one. So we're going to go into the very first cave of Ravenous Park. We are here. Discover him. So this is the Reggie cave. Reggie... Steel. No. Oh, I always forget which one's which. I can never remember. I think Rock is the left one. I feel like Steel is the middle one and... Oh, is this it? Is a slate. Oh, are these only slate spots? Oh! Do we just have to go on the ground while we're here? Is that the whole point? Are all these caves just slate locations? Yes, the Johto room. So this is obviously the three Johto beasts, which I think I can get in Diamond. There actually is exclusives for the legendaries. If you didn't know, there's exclusive legendaries from Ramnus Park. So the three birds are only in Pearl, so the three mythical beasts are in Diamond. So I can get these three people. These three Pokemon. That'll be cool. 
But I didn't know that these were just all the slate spots. So I guess we go underground? I've got no... This is probably Mewtwo or something. Who's in here? The Rainbow Room. ho oh, for sure. Okay, so this is these are all just slate rooms now. I know that. I've never, I haven't even looked at anything in the Ramus Park. I didn't want any spoilers, no nothing. So I didn't look at anything. So this is these are all just slate rooms, which I now know. This is a cool looking room. Look at the the floor, lava, I don't even know. Clouds, it could be could be anything. But so I'm pretty sure we just go underground. I'm just why not? Is that what we're supposed to do? They did say underground. So I'm gonna go right outside the front of this cave. Oh, okay, it's not. What am I supposed to do? I'm confused. I'm very confused right now. I thought that was the goal. Where are the Pokemon at? Do I have to go to the very back or something? I'm I'm lost. What am I supposed to be doing? Is that the cat? Supposed to be going in there? I don't, I'm so confused. Someone please help me. I don't know where I'm going. I'm so lost. I thought there was wild Pokemon here. Is this only where you catch the legendaries? Oceanic Room. Uh, Lugia, I'm assuming. Okay, this is not what I was expecting. I thought you went to the Raminus Park to find Pokemon as well as the legendaries. So I thought you went to find the legendaries, obviously with these slate rooms, we've got to find the slates first. But I thought you found the slates in the Raminus Park, or like underground in the Raminus Park. Something related to the actual park itself, but it seems like the park is only for the slate spots, and everything else you need to do for it is underground somewhere else. Genome Room. Ooh, that's Mewtwo. That's Mewtwo for sure. Look at the lab. He was bred in this lab. Okay, so... Uh, mission is, I guess we gotta go find some slates. So, I'm sorry, I thought this would be a capturing episode. But, turns out, that is not the case. So, we need to fly somewhere else, I guess. Surely we can just fly back to the Ramonus Park, yeah? What do you mean you can't use it? So, you can't do anything here. I'm so confused. I'm lost. I'm... This place is a tourist attraction that's famous for the Raminous Roses. Top notch trainers gather from many different regions. Is there no Pokemon because we're not strong enough? Do we have to beat the gym badges again or something? Is that why? I'm so confused as what we're supposed to be doing. Um, I'm going to just quickly Google because I I'm lost and I'm not sure what to do. So it turns out it's exactly what I have deduced and it's literally just the legendary Pokemon. I thought there was supposed to be the other Pokemon there. So we need to go to the Grand Underground. So I actually want to have a look. Because we might as well try and catch the starter Pokemon. So we might head... Where's a good spot? Hmm. I think we could go to the Stillwater Cavern. Which is the middle area on the left. So we're going to we're gonna go find some starter Pokemon in the Underground. And find some Underground Pokemon. Because at the minute, that's all I can really do. Is this... I think Canalave is... Probably near there, I think. Hoping. Because I was... I'm surprised. I was... I'm so sorry to let everybody down. This was not the episode I was expecting. I was really think. Can I dig here? Oh, you can. I didn't think you'd be able to do it because it's on concrete or whatever. But we can just dig through it because we're a bit different. Stillwater Cavern nearby? Is this not it? No. Oh, it's just in that area. Okay. Never mind. We'll be back when we're in the other spot. We're back underground... And we're in the wrong spot again. How? What do you mean? How is this not in the middle? We're in like Felosian Town, which is like the um, top half of the map. I should be at least where that uh, the two sand ones next to the green one. Like that's that's ridiculous. Okay, we're just gonna dig because we actually need shards and stuff to uh, go. To get all the legendaries, so this is literally just going to be, I think, a digging episode because that's all we can do at the minute, and find some Pokemon. So I might have a look for some that we can catch, but at the minute it's just trying to find these uh, shards. That's all we can really do right now. Let's have a gaze. Dig. I'm getting. Where's my luck at? What's going on? There we go. Don't think I need that, but okay. Oh, I messed up. My bad. 
Huge. Max revive. Probably don't need that. But it's okay. Might come in handy at some point. Never know. What? There we go. Terrible pulls. We don't need any of these things. Max revive and a hard stone. I think it's what it's called. I think it's a hard stone. Max revive and a hard stone. There we go. So two things that we don't need. We want these mysterious shards so we can get legendaries. Let's have a gaze. And there's actually a grass one here, so we can find, hopefully, some grass Pokemon. I would love to get a Trico, my lord. I would love a Trico. Three. Okay. Nothing. 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 I'm scared that we're not going to get anything again. Oh, we got two last time. <gasps> Cheeky. Beautiful. One down. Nothing there. Sag. Come on. See, I'm so sorry that I did this to you people. I did not mean for this to not be a legendary episode. I was really expecting it to be. But that's on me for not doing my research because I didn't want to get spoiled. And that's the risk you take when you don't look at spoilers. So that's my bad. I was like credit for that one. Can we find this last item? That'd be great. It's going to break. Don't do this to me. No. We're not going to get it. Damn it. Unlucky. That's right. Next one. The wall collapsed. So this is going to be digging and finding new Pokemon, I guess, until I find the slates and stuff my actual self, and then have to actually do that. So it might take a while to actually find all that stuff, but that's on me, I guess. Any cool Pokemon. Venonat, Vibraver, Sunkern, a Shuckle. We already got a Shuckle. For those of you who saw my last episode, we already have a Shuckle. Where's the tree goes at? Where the tree goes at? What's that? Oh, another Venonat. Oh, I don't need a Venonat. Another Shuckle. At a what a terrible pull. What's going on? We'll have a look again, and then we'll go for a bit of a dig. Aria Dose. And nothing else, apparently. Scyther, that's not new. Shinx, not new. Aria Dose. This is a terrible... Oh, Taurus! Ooh. Actually, I actually don't need Taurus. I don't need that. Very cool Pokemon. I think Taurus is underrated. I said it before. I think Taurus is underrated as a Pokemon. I think he's very, very cool. But when Ash caught 50, it just made him seem really bad. Pressure? I don't even think I can kill that in one shot. I'm just going to run. Because I don't want Weavile to die. Weavile is so cool. Weavile would actually be a cool partner Pokemon. Like, I would not complain if Weavile was my partner Pokemon. We should go this way so we can eventually get to the big the big cave. Get them start a Pokemon, you know? you got to get that. The, all the water and grass starters. And nothing to dig for ages, my lord. Actually, the, the big one's the other way. My bad. Where are we going? Oh, I'm so I'm so sorry. This is a terrible episode. So we are going this way. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Uh, what's here? Atropius. We should be doing dragon. Uh, the not dragon radar. Like the the Pokemon radar stuff. Looking for shinies. That could be cool. That's not really an episode though. That'd be like actually it can't be any worse than this one. Just me trying to figure out how to do stuff. Um, dig away. So hopefully the next episode is a bit more uh, intriguing and we get some stuff and we can actually do some legendaries because I did not realize and now I'm wasting everybody's time. So I apologize for that once again, but hopefully the next one is a bit more entertaining. What's going on? It's all this metal stuff. Beautiful. Love to see it. There we go. Oh, I didn't. Even wow. You, really, you for real? Come on. We're not going to get any more. Oh, no. Damn it. I wanted that. I think it was a Thunderstone. We don't need it, but it's cool. And you can sell them for good money. Red Sphere Large and a Blue Sphere Large. Come on. We need more. We need these Mysterious Shards. And I really want to get this. I need to find out where I can get a Smeagol. Because that's what I want for my competitive team. Pronto Dente. And a Kecleon would be pretty cool as well. Mammo Swine. I'm trying to think what Pokemon I actually want to play competitively. Maybe a Scizor could be handy. Ooh. Eh. Oh, beautiful. Ghost Boy. Oh, we got some good luck for once. This is huge. I'm mad. Now I can't make two episodes because i got to find these thingos. Find these slates underground. Or find the shards to then get the slates. So this is going to take ages. I don't have to grind this out. More than I'm already trying to grind to get these Let's Plays out. I'm just going to have to spend... More time finding this stuff to then do the last place. It's going to take forever. So hopefully we can get a bit of luck here. But it's never really been on my side. I haven't been that lucky. So, in Pokemon. 
Uh, so hopefully we get some good stuff, please. Just want a mysterious shard. That's all I want. There we go. One. Nothing. Nothing. Where's all the goods? <gasps> Beautiful. Thank you. Another one. Hell yeah. Okay, where's the third item? Where it at? No. Sneaky. We need to find it. Where you at? I don't even have time to get it, even if it is a shard that I want. <gasps> oh, we were so close. We were one more hit away from getting it. Unlucky. It's all right. Next time. Surely some mysterious shards, though. It's going to take a lot longer than I was expecting. I'm going to be... I might have to have a delayed episode or something. This is going to take for a while, and I can't do anything else other than catch... Which means I can start making other videos, I guess, in between doing this, which means I could be trying to put together competitive team. But that's still a lot of work to then get competitive Pokemon to then play competitively, because then I've got to... Like, you normally do one team per video, but I don't have the assets to then make another team to do another full video in the next day. I don't have the time or facilities for that. So this is going to be... Might have to drop down from every 16 hours. Oh, we got a rare one! <gasps> and it's Dragon. That's pretty cool. I'll rate that. Might have to drop down from a video every 16 hours to every third day or something. Hopefully not. That would be really bad. I would hate that. Um, surely. Oh, we got the shiny uh, dragon box though, which is cool. Surely a Dragonite or like a Salamence. Garchomp even would be cool. I'll take whatever you got. Gorgeous stone box. What we got? What we got? Salamence. Let's go. Shiny Salamence. Get them dragon types underground. <gasps> Dratini. I don't think anything rocks up in these caves. We're going to the big grass cave. Try and find a Trico. Hello. We haven't even got our spirit tomb yet. We can go back and get a spirit tomb. I think we've talked to enough people to get our spirit tomb. I hope we have. Hello, Graveler. Magnemite, nothing new. Tyrogue is new. That's cool. Hit on Lee and hit on Chan. Classic. Uh, where are we going? Oh, Crobat. Uh, Golbat, sorry. Not Crobat. Crobat's way cooler. I hate the movement. Oh, I'm stuck. Anything up there? Nope, nothing. We're going to the big old green cave. Any good items? Oh, we got a cluster over there. Come on. Just running underground, getting my steps up, you know? Time to dig. Look at this, we got three and one. And then into the big old cave. This episode, I'm so mad about this episode. I'm so sorry. I'm really bummed about that. Hopefully you guys aren't too bummed. And hopefully the next one is like a legendary or something. So I'm gonna have to work pretty hard to try and find these shards and slates. So hopefully it's not too too long. That was it, beautiful. Only two Firestone, we can sell, I guess, for more Ultra Balls. Or Timer Balls, for that matter. I said after 10 turns, Timer Balls work better than Ultra Balls, but I didn't know that that was that good after that short time. Like, 10 turns is a long time. But when you think about it, like, Ultra Balls are the Ultra Balls. Like, it's a lot. Okay, where's the these two items hiding? Come on, give me a shard. Where are you at? Please give me a shard. We're halfway through. We haven't got any, any hints yet. What's going on? Nothing. Where are these items? I've never had a dig without nothing. <gasps> heart scale. Yes. Oh, thank God. Oh. Loves a heart scale. Would never say no to a heart scale. I actually needed one bad to give my uh, Weavile Ice Shard. So that's actually really good. They'll be going straight towards that. One more dig and then we'll have a look at this cavern. Yeah, I'm so sorry about this episode once again. It's just... I was not expecting Ravenous Park to just be that. I thought it was like, you go around, it'd be like the like a wild area or like the underground where you go, there's wild Pokemon around, and then you look for the slates either there or underground somewhere, and then you catch the legendaries. I didn't know it was just literally the legendary slate spots. So that's on me. Should have done my research instead of not trying to spoil it because I wanted to see it for myself the first time. So I apologize once again for that. Where are these items at though? Going to get it done? Oh, on the last one. We still had a second, a third one to find, unluckily. But Firestone again and a small green sphere. No mysterious shards yet. No luck. I don't know where they're supposed to spawn. Maybe they spawn only under Ramnus Park. I don't, I don't, I don't even know if Ramnus Park has a spot underneath it. Because you can't dig there, so. Hmm. 
Where's Ravenous Park? Would it be like in the sunny shore half? Down the bottom to the left, like where the water and the two moss ones are? Or would it be like where the half green, half water one is here? I would love to know. Machoke? Where they start a Pokemon at? Where's any Pokemon at? What? Where are the Pokemon? What? Where is everybody? I'm Rhyhorn. Where are the Pokemon right now? The duo. This is like the biggest cat. Poliwheel. Double Poliwheel. And a Scyther. <gasps> Free item. Say less. Thank you. That's a big old tree. Xs are again beautiful. I don't know who I'll use it on, but I've got two now. Could we get a Poliwheel? I love Politoed. Politoed is a sick Pokemon. Might catch a Poliwheel. Wurmple. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to catch a Poliwheel. Let's get it. First Pokemon that we're going to catch, and we got a Poliwheel. Let's get it. I haven't got a King's Rock, though, and I don't know where to find one. Unfortunately, enter the Poliwheel. So let's go. Weavile. Oh, please don't have a fighting move. I'll cry. Uh, quick ball, please work. Come on. It's only Poliwheel. Please. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Two. Ah, oh, damn it. Unlucky. That's alright, that's alright. Oh, I'm eating that up. Easy. My lord. Uh, throat chop. This shouldn't kill. Whew. I know Weavile was strong, but my lord, that did a lot of damage. My Weavile just built different. Not even max attack either. One. Two. Three. Let's go. First Ultra Ball. Love to see it. Poliwell was caught. Let's go. I want some cool Pokemon. I know Poliwell's cool, but Politoed's the cool one. He's so happy. The spiral pattern on its belly subtly undulates. Staring at it gradually causes drowsiness. I didn't know it moves. It doesn't show that it moves. It's cool that it does, though. I rate that. Naive. Damp. That's not bad. Could be better. Mind Reader was the move. I didn't realize. He has Earth Power. I didn't even know Poliwell could learn Earth Power. That's insane. That could be handy for those electric types if you're running, like, Drizzle... Um, Poly Toad. Have an Earth Power, get them electric types out of there. Normally gonna stay in against an electric type, but, but if by chance you read a switch in or something, you could have a cheeky Earth Power behind your sleeve. Venomoth, Victory Bell, Snuzzleaf, Machoke. Where they start a Pokemon at? I think they spawn in this one. Venonat. I'm pretty sure they spawn in the big caves. More me. Raticate, ill. Disgusting. Ah, boy, speedy boy. Far-fetched. Where are these Pokemon at, though? Cactus. I didn't even see that Pokemon. He's just tucked away. Uh, that's sorry. Weeping Bell. I said Victory Bell before. Victory Bell is uh, quite good at the minute, actually, competitively. Chlorophyll? In the Sun team? Does very well. Luxio. Seen 800,000 new Nuzleaf is cool. Where's these starter Pokemon at? Stunky. Are you kidding me? Tropius. Benera Where are all the exclusive? <gasps> Turtwig! Let's go! I already got a Turtwig, but I don't need to breed another one. I got a high level one. I don't have to go from level zero. Surely he's got a cool egg. What cool? <gasps> Imagine if it had Seed Bomb. If it has Seed Bomb, that's pretty huge. Please get caught with one Quick Ball and have Seed Bomb. And be adamant. I'm asking for a lot. I know, but I would love that. One. Two. Three. Let's go! We got turn to week first quick ball. That's what we want to see. Quick ball captures on the first go. We caught another turn to week. Catching this. That's one, two starters down. I think I caught, yeah, I caught a, a Cyndaquil um, while I was not doing an episode. So I had to, I just quickly recorded it when I went to do it. Worry seed. Oh, trash. Trash. That's okay. Neutral nature's not bad. It's okay. Not terrible stats. Overgrow is pretty standard. It has to have an overgrow, but we got ourselves a high level turn tweak, so that's always handy. But we want the other. We know this is the cavern for starters, then. But we want other Pokemon that aren't just turn twigs. We want a Trico or Bulbasaur. I love. Bulbasaur is actually. Okay, this is what we're going to ask this week. Uh, this episode. Not week. Sorry, this day. This episode. Who is your favorite starter from through Gen 1 to 4? So who's your favorite Gen 1 starter? Who's your favorite Gen 2 starter? 3 and who's 4? Mine would be Gen 1. I would say Bulbasaur. Gen 2 for me would be Totodile. Ah, oh. Gen 3 is Trico. And Gen 4 
actually, I actually don't know Gen 4 now. I'm in a pickle. I think my favorite final evolution is either Empoleon or Infernape. I think I like Infernape's playstyle more, but I do love Empoleon. He's my first ever Pokemon. But my favorite baby starter would be Turtwig, but I think my favorite final evolution might be either Infernape or Empoleon. But let me know who your favorites are in the comments below, please. Would love to know. I didn't even check the nature of the Poliwheel, I don't think. Oh, I was naive. Never mind. I did. I always check. Who am I talking about? Vib <gasps> Trico! Let's go! We got a Trico! Please be like... Timid or Jolly. That would be amazing. Or if you're like naive or hasty, I could do run like a mixed sectile set. That would be so cool. Have a good egg move. <gasps> what egg moves does Trico learn? What egg moves does Trico learn? Trico. Trico is a fast boy. Base... He was not having it, my lord. Um, what egg moves can you have? What move did he just use? What? Double kick. Okay, there we go. We know what his move is. Uh, can learn Leaf Storm. Uh, not Leaf Storm. Um, Synthesis. That's pretty cool. Okay, who can take? A f uh, I guess Torterra can. I can't weaken you though. I, I can't weaken it anymore. I don't have any Pokemon that are too weak enough to hurt it. Woodhammer will still kill, resist it or not. Screech, oh. Oh, dodge, huge. I want this Trico. Both of these moves are still killing. Hmm. Uh. Red Pickle. I guess we just throw raw Ultra Balls at full health Tricos. That's all we can do. Yeah, that's about what I expected. So yeah, absorb slash night slash double kick. Dragon breath could be handy, but dragon pulse is better, obviously. Um, leech seed, worry seed, synthesis, crunch. You can learn cr how can Trico learn crunch? He hasn't even got a big mouth. I guess he kind of does. Crush claw, endeavor could be handy. Leave some grassy terrain. Two, three. Oh, I thought we had it. It sucks that Septile's attack is only 85. Good speed. Base 120 is phenomenal speed. Um, special attack, 105. Not terrible. Nothing crazy. Um, attack, 85. It sucks that he learns a lot of good physical moves because his attack is quite like 20 base stats lower than his special attack. But he learns... And without Mega Sceptile, special probably isn't worth being run. Because like... I guess you have Energy Ball now, which is probably better. Like normally you'd run Leaf Blade, which is a physical attack. And Sceptile's physical attack is way lower than its special attack. But now with um, Energy Ball being learnt at level 1, apparently, for uh, Sceptile, and also the TM is great. Like, can learn f uh, Dual Chop at level 1, X Scissor at level 1, Energy Ball, Quick Gut Assurance, Giga Drain's good, fantastic, is a special move. Leaf Storm, obviously, is always nice. Um, Endeavor, then can learn, like, Dragon Claws at TM, Solar Beam, obviously, Earthquake, has great coverage moves. Three? Let's go, we got a Trico, we're adding to the list. Rock Tomb, Aerial Ace, great physical attacking moves with good coverage. Drain Punch, Dragon Pulse obviously is great. Rock Slide, Bulldoze, great physical moves, but the attack is just not anywhere near the special attack. So you'd run something, I guess, like maybe Giga Drain or Energy Ball for like healing, and then like Leaf Storm for the big attack, and then maybe run like a mix set with... Drain Punch or something for the Ice types or Dragon Pulse for coverage. Like, it's hard to choose what to run now, especially not being Mega Sceptile. But, like, Swords Dance, Rock Slide, Dragon Claw, Leaf Blade's not bad. <gasps> Jolly, let's go! Okay, we're running a off physically offensive Sceptile. It's happening. It's, it's, it's happening. It's what we're going to do. We just got a trigger. That might be a good spot to call it. That is amazing. Let's just check if there's another trigger here. Polly will... Oh, I'm so stoked about that. That is huge. Shuckle, you are so slow. <laughs> Jolly or timid, and we ask, then we shall receive. Oh, you're quick. Jesus, Primate. I'm so happy we got a Jolly Trico. I was just talking about using physical or special and how special moves are worth it because of his high special attack stat and not... And he has great coverage moves for his physical attacks, but not ideal because the attack stat is low. But we got a Jolly Trico, so we're definitely running a physical attack Trico. So that will be... Hopefully a video at some point. But thank you all for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. It was a bit strange. I know I did say we catch some legendaries. But I didn't expect it to be 
uh, this much work involved prior. So I'm going to do a lot of prior work now, get that sorted. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Make sure you hit the bell if you're enjoying the content so you don't miss a single Let's Play episode. Because at some point after we do all the legendaries and whatnot, and in between, hopefully, we'll get some Wi-Fi battles. Maybe Showdown as well. I do like Showdown, but it's harder to for YouTube to find it if you're not already known enough to make that content. So if someone's looking for Showdown content or Pokemon content, they're probably going to look for Wi-Fi battles rather than showdown, showdown content. Especially if they find it, they're not going to find my little old me. So hopefully, soon we get some good Wi-Fi battles going. There's a lot more work involved. Like I said, comment down below your favorite starter from each generation. And as always, take it easy.